everybody out there in the stream, this is Bratz. I am coming to you from my front room. It is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful January day out there, everybody. I can't believe the snow looks so beautiful today. Wait, it's, um, April. it's April. It's April. V. Wait, hold on. What's that? It's, it's, it's April. April? I'm, being, I'm being told it's April. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's weird. Thank you, nature. You're getting us again. Oh, it doesn't matter what month it is. It is. Oh, the names are swapped. Man, I can't. I can't have a not botch for. Hey, I'm Birdie. How the names are happen? swapped, and I'm like. <laughs> How does that happen? What kind of? Okay, well, hi. I am 10K. It's nice to meet you. Hey guys, I'm Bratz. Hey, I'm Birdie. <laughs> well, I'm going to fix this debauchery of an actual show. You guys, tell us how your week was. Uh, uh, Birdie, you want to go first? Sure. Um, I'm trying to think about... Over the weekend, I cut Chris's hair. So, <laughs> that happened. Um, uh... Yeah, we made, oh, uh, my roommate made, a, like, a strawberry shortcake, uh, coffee cake thing. It fucking goes off. So, you know, you can't have any because we're in quarantine, but, like, it's delicious. <laughs> uh, those are pretty much the highlights. I've done a lot of schoolwork. That's about it. Hey, my life is boring. <laughs> we're back to being our normal people now. Hey, look oh, at that. Yeah. I'm back to being 10k. Yo. A bird is me. It would not be the beginning of a show if I didn't fuck up something very serious. And speaking of that, there goes their first swear word of the week. It didn't take very long. Uh, oh, oh no. It's it's, oh, it's, no. Always, it's always Bratz that breaks his own rule. He I literally like, just said the word it. fuck. Did anybody? Oh. Wait. I probably didn't catch it. Uh... <laughs> Yes, so the people who are messaging me, <laughs> when we get to Medic, we are going to be looking for people. That announcement's coming up very shortly, so hang out. Um, did I miss everybody? Is it my turn, or is it your guys' turn still? I'm lost right I'm now. I'm done. I'm done. I Pretty told good. people about first. strawberry shortcake, coffee cake thing that was delicious, and cutting your hair, and doing schoolwork. So that's my life right now. I was about to mention, it. I just found out last week that I'm moving tomorrow what so there's that yeah i'm moving Where? um so there's all of that nowhere far so that's why i didn't say anything earlier because like i'm not moving that far oh, wow. i'm still oh, gonna okay. be in the area i'm still gonna be here so that's oh. wild are you excited am i excited it's it's a better apartment it offers more space for the little one that's what i'm that's what i like um oh good that's this good. little one's able to run around more freely instead of jumping on my bed <laughs> uh, every two seconds. So. Okay. It's the thing is, I'm moving tomorrow, and I have to get all this stuff packed by tomorrow. So oh there's all that. Well, it's a good thing we're gonna have another quick <laughs> show tonight. So yeah, yeah hey, there's that. So. That speed. Speaking of quick shows, I'm Bratz. I had a week that was very, again, mostly eventful, but yet very uneventful. Um. Did some work, played some Dead by Daylight, did some cooking, Yep. Mm -hmm. did yep. some um, Power Hour, that was fun, did some drinking, speak for yourself, <laughs> slept, <laughs> slept all day Saturday, um, alright, alright, yeah, that was it, I got this, I got this really cool, uh, LED light strip, which I'm now blinding the camera with. So, yeah, that kind of hurt. Damn, gonna, bro. I'm gonna, <laughs> I can't handle my I can't handle my brightness. So I'm gonna be working on my lighting throughout the show because I'm adult and do things all at the last second all the time, as you can tell by my stream quality. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, yeah, that's that's been my week. I want to play some more video games. That's all we can do. Um, past the time, you know, just past the time. Yeah, pretty much. Um, programming <laughs> notes: we're still coming on every week as normal. Mhm. Mm 
Um, we probably got about two weeks maybe of this uh, whole full lockdown. Looks like things are going well. I don't know what news you're reading, but sure. Well, <laughs> the next one's up in two weeks. Like, so it was literally, like, I was reading this article, and, like, one of the interviewers was like, hey, like, do you think lockdown's gonna be lifted after the 30th? And her response was, mm, keep your ass see, inside. well, uh, the way things are looking, it would be hard to say. I'm yeah. like, oh, no. Oh, I mean, I'm not it's talking about. Very hard to say. Yeah, but... I wasn't referencing the entirety of it being over. I'm thinking some type of return to some type of normalcy, like limited gatherings, not not stay away from everybody. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe they open up restaurants or something. <laughs> Who knows? That'd actually be cool. <laughs> it would be Just... nice to actually go out and do something. Yeah, um, I'm kidding. For the podcast, where we will be here next week and the week after and the week after until we open up again. Uh, we're going to continue to keep going down our mission discussion, but the shows will probably be a little bit lighter still, um, just because we don't have a lot of live content to go over. This week, we are going to have some people on the show, so if you do want to be on the show, um, go ahead and send me a message somewhere. I'll figure out how to know. I don't know. Um... <laughs> I'll figure out I'll figure how to out. know. I already got one person. Love that. that on the fly. You'll figure it out. Yeah, I already got one person that wants to come on. So as by people... the seat of your pants. Yeah, as people want to come on, I'll just keep adding them into the. Uh... <laughs> nice, Fabian. I can't. I can't look at the chat when you're in there, man. It distracts me too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll just be adding people in as we want to talk. So tonight's discussion is about medic. Thank you to all 10 of you that came out. Remember, our goal is still we're trying to get to 75 concurrent viewers. It'll happen sometime. We'll get there. We'll get big enough. It's going to happen for sure. Oh, it's gonna happen for sure. I got my hair cut. <laughs> yeah. It was streamed live on Facebook because all we Compliments. know how to do is give con uh, content. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Cool. You guys want to talk about medic? I don't know. What to uh, tell I was gonna. I know of everybody. It, everybody never says. The uh, game, so. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna. We're, we're gonna, gonna switch. Do over. I sure do. If I had anything to say. We're gonna switch over to the mega chat window, and I'm gonna start getting some people in here to talk. Yeah, great. Because gonna, I am. I'm gonna go find the actual uninformed. rules for medic, and we're gonna play the video. Alright, so messaged me? Yes, the video, yes. Who messaged me? That was Big Boss Man, I think. Going up ba, 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 on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what am I doing? Oh, wait, it's wait, Wednesday. <laughs> Should have said Wednesday. Oh, he's offline. Oh, it no. stinks. Uh, hey, there's that video I uh I sent to everyone with all the heroes taking on the coronavirus. Yeah, that was a cool video. Did y'all get? Did y'all see that video? Did y'all get open? The video that's in the chat right now in our Discord, the one about all the heroes uniting to take out the coronavirus. Oh, I did like see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. I liked it. It was funny that they said. The two anime people to Asia that made me laugh. <laughs> they said they sent One Punch Man and Genos to Asia, and One Punch Man cleared Asia in two seconds. So <laughs> that was fun. You know what we're gonna do? <clears throat> Go ahead and join the Discord. Or Ooh. oh, this is risky. This is risky. Whatever. Uh, that is risky. the direct link to the video chat. <laughs> I just dropped it in Twitch chat, and I'm dropping it in the channel here. Uh, oh, there it is. If you want to come talk about it, just go ahead and go ahead and join us. See what happens. We'll see how big of a shit show we can get. Oh yeah! Cool. You should have not said anything. About it. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, there you go. Hi, Bob's. I love hey, what's you. Up, I love you too. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you guys. Honestly, it's been a minute. It, yeah, it really it. has been. So you guys want to talk about medic, huh? 
Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. I'm problematic if I might say so myself. You know? God. I literally know Jack fucking shit about medic. Yeah, I've never played oh, before either. We don't have that down here, do we? No, it's... We, we, we used to, didn't we? It worked for, I... like, a session, and that was it. Oh, oh my god, we have so many people. Hold on, we're gonna ring up all these people here. Oh, shoot. How do I ring up all the other? Oh, go ring. Hey, 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 who's talking about communism in the chat? Ring. Shout out communism. Fireman drill. Whoa, look at all these people joining. <laughs> Does somebody have that cat that has that nasty cough as their. What is like. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, God, I saw that too. Favorite mm, meme. I saw that. Oh, I saw that there's Fabian. Yeah, oh, like, oh, Fabian. Fabian. old school drug rug. We love yeah, to see thank it. Thank you. The drug rug. <laughs> we love to see it. <laughs> Did I genuinely just Snap. get demonetized? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Oh, it's easy. That's me. amazing. Hold on, I gotta switch cameras because this is my shitty camera. This just be. Oh, oh my God. we got a creeper. <laughs> What's oh up, Nick? Oh my Jesus! Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> this oh fucking and he's gone. <laughs> this is turned into a shit show. Right. This is what this is really what we're looking for, everybody. This is this, this is, is what we strive this, for. This 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 is how we all have fun together at home. We have fun here. That's what we do. We have fun here. Yeah, that's our main goal. Have fun together. As a <laughs> as a friend group. Oh, hell yeah. And everyone's gone. All right, we're going to give about two or three more uh, minutes here. Okay. I'm just yeah. copying and pasting stuff over so we can actually have some type of discussion. Where'd everybody go? Come uh, back. Uh, we need you. My camera's glitching. All right, cool. That. All right, let's see. Anybody else want to jump in here with us? There we go. Can you guys hear me well, or does it? Yeah, no, you're you're good. You're a little loud, but yeah, I, can, I can change that. Audio is pretty solid on my end. Oh, okay. making sure you know your boy oh. has to make sure he's heard. <laughs> Get my voice out there. You know? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, Brian. You're on a. You're on one of the. You're on one of the talk shows. We're not going to silence your voice here, okay? <laughs> yeah. Band on video. Here we are. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's just get on with the show. All right, medic. Oh, I didn't look now, for the. No, you guys keep talking. I have to look for the freaking video. Medic. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta find the video still. Literally. Dude. Oh wow, hold on. We're looking at we're looking at my browser. We don't want that. Woo. Oh, what, what you doing in there, babe? That's hey, danger. <laughs> wow. Naughty boy, Chris. Yeah, I got the new haircut and everything. Right. I love it. I do not. <laughs> I refuse. I combat medic. Where's the video for it? There yeah, it is. I got I've it. Never seen anyone use the Discord chat. I've always used like Zoom or Whereby. Or yeah. Like video calls. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. But it works pretty well, surprisingly. <laughs> P. All right, I've got the medic video. You guys wanna, you guys wanna watch it? Sure. Oh yeah, yeah. let's watch it. All right. Throw it in there. Th throw that ass in a. Circle. You guys, you guys are gonna get to see Yo. my. Uh... Eh. Oh Jesus! Hold on. I botched. Figure it out, man. Window capture. <coughs> Bless you. Thanks. Wow, so many people joined and left. Where'd everybody go? Well, I spammed it, and all the people that just like can't help but click on links clicked on it first. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, here comes the video. Uh, you guys probably can't hear it, but everybody else can. Here we go. This is Mission Medic. All players have 100 health and unlimited lives. Only the Medic is allowed to use the spawn tubes. 
Players must wait where they die for a medic to revive them. Players will automatically respawn after 30 seconds. Oh, God. Help medics find you by yelling, Medic! Each team gets one medic for every five players. Team that has the most kills wins. And because I realized I didn't actually transition over to that, we're going to play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's yeah. all right. Oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> I forgot to hit the button to show it on the stream, so we're going to watch this it again. This is Mission Medic. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to watch it again. You're going to watch it for the first lives. time. Only the Medic there. is allowed to use the spawn tubes. Players yeah, must wait the where they die the street, for Medic so to revive okay. them. Okay. Players will yeah. automatically respawn after 30 Worked seconds. Help medics find you played. by yelling, Medic! medic. Each medic. team gets one medic for every five players. <laughs> team that has the most kills wins. Okay, there you go. All right. Oh. Did we just... Oh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Who just... Oh, of course. <laughs> I don't all know right. how y'all lost me, but I'm back. <laughs> no problem. All right, so that's Medic. Medic is a Medic is a pretty simple game. It's a uh, it's a team team death base style game, except you don't get to respawn as normal. That's the the little gimmick that they put on it. Um, it's more or less played like a freeze tag game. So when you get killed, you just stand wherever you died. <laughs> and then the Medic, what they do is they have their headband. Normally, they just flip it around so that box is in the front. And if you've ever played in Chicago, you know that uh, during the Halloween time, they have the, the the killers on the field, the zombies, whatever, and they can kill you if they get close enough. It's like the opposite. If they get if the medic gets close enough to you, um, hey, we got a wild powers that just appeared. Hello, Patrick. What up, powers? Hey, hey, get that copyrighted material off in the background. What are you trying to do to me, man? Working on it. Working on it. Hold on. Hold on. This will work. <laughs> The there we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Conspicuously turns the entire. Obviously, we don't want to see uh, the big short. You know. Nice. Um. So instead of them killing you, it sends out a signal to your vest that revives you. So um, then you come back immediately. There's no countdown. You just are right back alive, and you can just start shooting again. So. Um, the game really is based around a lot of um, just positioning, getting into good spots. I think Powers, you've played Medic before, right? Yes, I played it in Waukesha. Yeah, Waukesha. Yep. Um, it's a lot of positioning. Um, it really sucks to be the Medic because you have to go back to spawn. Mm -hmm. So if you're out in the field and you die, like the strategy is to keep killing the Medic so they can't revive everybody else. It's awkward, but that's how it works. I think I have played this before. Mm-hmm. You probably, we played it like once or twice in Chicago. It worked for like a hot second and then it broke. Yeah. Oh um, no. There's something with the headbands that we have. The headbands don't send out the reviving signals. So. Uh, Good. So when you're playing, then the medic is like, Do they have any extra health or anything like that? Or is it just like normal? No. Yeah, the medic is just a normal player. Regular health, regular damage. They just have to go back to spawn to respawn. They're the only one oh. that can respawn at the base. Oh, okay. Whoa, powers with multiple cameras. What's going on? Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. That's how I do things around here. There you go. Nice. <laughs> um... A few times that I've played it, it's a lot of fun to kind of just suicide yourself out to kind of a good spot on the map because you never have to worry about getting back there. Because even if the medic can't get to you to respawn you, you automatically come back to life in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. So you can just kind of okay. count in your head. You're like, one, two, three, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, uh, you just pop back alive at one point and you just start wasting people again. Um because if you were to just sit there the entire fucking time, it, it would. I mean, are you? Are we not swearing? Are we? Swearing? No, you're fine. We've. I've already broken the rule, so you're. Oh, so have at it, Hoss. <laughs> you're just gonna sit there and be dead the entire time, and it's like, what the hell's the point? Because eventually, the other team's gonna get everybody down, mm -hmm. and then what? You're just gonna sit there and wait. Like it would be pointless. Yeah. So there's there's one medic on one team. Correct? Um, there's, there's only one, one medic, medic on the feet. One medic per five players on your team. 
five players. So really? Yeah. More than one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can have more than one medic. So if you're playing a full session, like if you're playing on Alcatraz, your team would have three medics if you had a full team. And and then both sides have them. Yeah, both sides have three medics. Huh. And then it's just like regular TDM structure mm-hmm. when you're trying to get kills and whichever team has the most kills wins, but there's medics. And yeah. you don't respawn at, at spawn. It's just the medics who do. Interesting. I'd really like to try and play that game. It's a pretty fun game to play because it, it just changes the way you have to play the game. Like you have to work together a little bit more. Um, It's really fun when you can get some like ninja revives as the medic. I remember, ninja I think ninja. I remember playing with Pat uh, when we went up there a while ago and we figured out you could like lean your head over the balcony and revive people downstairs mm-hmm. Ooh, so you would that. get upstairs and like lean over really quick and you could hit like two or three <laughs> of your teammates Nice. the headband ir is really powerful if you ever played with the zombies or like end of days you find out how powerful that is and it gets good range it, it powers i don't want to i don't want to startle you but is that a wild akila behind you no, this is we're gonna call him Phantasm. Oh, okay. This is this is a fan. So, that's a Phantasm. The, the profile was uh, was very Akila esque. I was like, what the? I have uh, I have a uh, problem with uh, surrounding myself with people that all look the same. It's kind of oh, annoying. Fair enough. <laughs> However, this one is uh, looks better. Would you? Does my antediluvian friend wish to join? No, no, he, he doesn't. He's scared of. He, he's too. He, he's too old for this stuff. Fair, I feel that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, the game is the game's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think. I've only played it a couple times. I I really was hoping to get some Madison and Michigan people out here, or and. Madison, yeah, like, Michigan, all, and like the one day nobody from either of those deals shows uh, up, like to the stream, like, "Hey, we need you." Yeah, You're the only people who play this. Oh, thanks for the host, Fobs. Yeah, I'm actually uh, uh, shouted you out in my in my Discord, so we'll see if we get through some more viewers. Sweet. Wow, thanks, Fobs. Um. Oh, Michigan doesn't play it. Oh, that's right, because you got oh. the seri- the same equipment issues that we have. Yeah. I think we tried it when we w- went up there for the first time, and no. it just didn't work. Ooh, that's it's really disappointing because it's really a fun game to play. I really um, try. Brats, do you remember uh, trying it in Madison? Mm-hmm. I I think I have. I just don't remember. I we played it. Oh, actually, no. Uh, because when the first time I went up to Madison was right when they switched over to the the I the SMGs. Okay. Uh, they just got rid of all their M4s, so they weren't playing it anymore. Okay. But they have the vests. And the one time, yeah, and the one time we played it in, in Waukesha is when we were still using the M4s. You guys just so. watched me get like mentally sad right there. That was pretty fun. You were like, <laughs> yeah. You know, could really bring up the mood. <laughs> oh God. That really shows us her cat. I want to see his cat. Huh? Show us your cat. Uh, Milo. Choice of words. <laughs> uh, oh my. I think he's in my living room right now. I my roommate's probably with him. I don't have my door open either, so he can't even come in. Unfortunate. Just really saddens my soul. I guess I can get up and and <laughs> and, and coach him to come in <laughs> if you really must see him. <laughs> I mean, (laughs) it's a cat. It doesn't really have free will, so. Um, Oh, God, I can still hear her. (laughs) Let's listen to her hunt the cat. So I think our friend from uh, New Jersey was talking about playing this game uh, a couple weeks ago, wasn't he? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vic said that they play Medic, uh, which makes sense because they are running off of the M4 system. So the M4s don't have anything to do with the headband. Uh, right. The headband as a standalone should work fine, and they got the old system. So, and the uh, strategies he was talking about trying to get the uh, trying to get the medic forward and kind of protecting the medic is yeah. a valid strategy. I mean, it's pretty much the best best way to play. It. Keep them and keep the medic from getting knocked down. Yeah. Um, oh my God, Natalie, stop having a conversation with your roommate on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, it would be kind of cool to take a trip out to New Jersey, though, to actually see the facility and whatnot. Yeah. You know, they do it differently. Totally. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. 
Where's the cat? The cat's sleeping in a blanket really cute. I don't want to bother him. Oh, okay. So <laughs> okay. All right, that's fair. So I literally went to get him, and, like, he is so inside of the blanket, I didn't know if he was there. I, like, touched the, his back, and I was like, oh, that's the cat. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> um... I totally forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> I think we were trying to talk about strategies, basic strategies. Oh, yeah, basic strategy. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really at its base. It's just a team deathmatch style game. So if you can if you can keep yourself alive and killing people, you're gonna do well. But you can't really run the score up though, because you can't take advantage of the spawn camping, which is kind of nice. Which is actually pretty cool when you think about it to just eliminate spawn camping from a game for a change that's true i guess uh, though, yes and no unless you trap the medic and that's probably one of the better goals is trap the medic in the spawn yeah greetings mr mandrill how are you how are you mr mandrill <laughs> hello yeah so like i said michigan doesn't play it um it's been broken we yeah. tried it once recently yeah, it's once it's been broken for like two and a half years now. So <laughs> yeah, since we opened, yeah. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> well, I for some reason there's like when they bring out new gens of stuff, they like don't backward compatible everything. Like you can't play Terminator, you can't play Medic, you can't play um, Alamo, can't play. There's just a bunch of games you can't play. So what was that? Which one? The so now... UBL. Oh, UBL. I mean, we could play that. We just don't have the you mean setup for it. Racist game that a combat created. <laughs> yes. Yeah, UBL. Yeah, it exists. We don't play it in our field. Again, shout it's out still out fun. <laughs> I like that game. It's a good game. I've never played it. I want to. The <laughs> the first Does time. Madison play it. Yeah, Madison had. Uh, no, no. I'm sorry. Only Waukesha. Waukesha. Okay, so it's it. Waukesha. Yeah. Michigan, I've played it. Yeah. That bitch heavy. It is heavy. I remember getting to it the first time and like throwing my arm around it, thinking I could one arm it back to base. Nah. Nah. That wasn't it. So. That was not it. Is it an doll? Yeah, it's yeah, like a it's like a it's like a human sized, like oh. weighted, like burlap sack doll. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I know what you're pounds. It's hundred and forty pounds. Oh. oh. Mm. That's, yeah, that is yeah. a large yeah. child. Yeah. We had to put a chest rig on it so we could move it. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, medic. Medic. The pack the medic powers. Okay. Powers okay. keeping us on, on team here. Okay. There we go. Yes. Before we continue to that, so Patrick, the only. I'm not lie to you. I saw the person behind you and I thought it was a life size human doll. And I was like, why is it moving? <laughs> <laughs> because he's trying he's trying to replace a hard drive and, on a laptop. And, uh, oh, yeah. that sucks. We're, we're, we're combining IT powers to get this done. Right. Love that for you. We love to see it. Yeah. So um, for Medic, the like the advanced strategy so the hard part about talking about it is it's only really at waukesha and it's only i guess it's only at waukesha now because madison doesn't play it either so i mean the idea is you want to take the top obviously you want to keep the medics pinned down now the one thing that's interesting is there's no obvious indication of who the medic is like when you're playing like you don't flash different color lights you don't have anything special you just happen to be the only one that goes back to base to spawn. So um, really keeping yourself from getting camped is kind of a big deal. But what do you, I don't, what do you guys think, though? Like, would it be better to go in groups to kind of mm. stay spread out, keep medics together? Like, what do you guys think about that? Ooh. I think it's a think zone it's and control be- kind of game. Uh, really, you what you what you want to do, what you want to do is I would say spread out and control certain areas of that arena. And try to keep them from pushing. And another thing is, you don't want to get on a one-on-one situation and constantly be down. And you just want to kind of push your way forward and kind of push them back into their base. Okay. If you're playing, if you're playing as the medic, are we talking about specifically about like Alcatraz? No, the uh, Waukesha. Okay. Yeah. okay. So as far as that map goes, like I have no idea about that. But if you're playing on a map like Alcatraz or even uh, what's the other one? Shanty. Uh, Shanty, like, in that how specific, dare you? 
Well, I forgot what was <laughs> there in a minute. Yeah, anyway, the other one. Yeah. But, like, in that kind of instance, like, it's better to just have the medic sit back, and if you can control the top, you're fine, and just have the medic consistently heal. Like, have people placed on the corners if you can, and then just camp. Like, that's the only way to do it. Yeah. Medic only shoots if he has to. That's true. I do remember the, the few times I played it, I was medic one time, which was the worst idea of my life. And oh, I genuinely spent an entire five minutes just running between all the players who were dying. Oh my! Because if you don't oh, keep, you. if you don't revive, like you, you'll just genuinely get overwhelmed. So your entire yeah. five minutes is spent doing like wind sprints between the dead players. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Sounds like a good time for exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was you dead just after end up that. Doing laps. That's yeah. uh, right, exactly. a shotgun. Burn them extra calories. Oh jeez. It's a good no. thing that their field's really small though, so it made it it made it not as bad. Oh god. That the one time I didn't go to or I went to Walker show we didn't play it. Yeah, they don't play it very often. I think because they're on the new system too, um I think it doesn't work all the time, but who knows? This might be a game that has just kind of gone the wayside and we just won't see it ever again. Maybe, maybe, or they might fix it. They fixed the uh, safe cracker. That'd be nice. Sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, safe cracker. That's another fun game. God, there's so many games we don't play in Chicago. Yeah. That's what's great about iCombat. We get to go to other centers and play them. Only a two and a, th two and a half, three hour drive. No big deal. Oh, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's, it's great. We're the, we're the only adults That's that will all? actually travel five to six hours to play different fields. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm going to go play three hours of laser tag. I'm going to drive 10 hours round trip. Sounds like a good plan. Let's go to Rochester. Yeah. Woo. Dude, you can't go anywhere hey, in Michigan we all came right to now. You, guys. you did. Well, like, if that was the thing, though, if we were to actually no, do that, that kind of finish work. Work. we would talk about New York uh, and then just travel the entire uh, East Coast to find the different eye combats. That would be kind of dope, dude. Yeah. Bro, yeah, pretty awesome. follow me on this. So we, we start. We start in Wisconsin. We go to Madison. We hit up okay. Waukesha. Drive down to Chicago. And then we go over to Rochester. And then from Rochester, we go out to New Jersey. And then from Jersey, we drive down to Louisiana. Louisiana, we come back up to St. Louis. And then St. Louis, back up to Chicago, and we're home. So what I'm hearing is laser tag country tour. Like, that's like I'm a in. three week plan right there. <laughs> I'm in. Where do I sign? <laughs> oh. I agree. Pick us up in Rochester. All right, everybody. <laughs> everybody, tuck away those stimulus checks you just got. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need them. Pay your fucking bills. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Pay your bill. <laughs> And then when, when when the ick is gone and we can gather in groups of ten or more, we'll go stimulate all these eye combats. I'm I am in. I think the first place I'm stimulating is the bar, dude. That's my... <laughs> so I all. was terrified that that was gonna take a really different turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, that could go that way too. Do you consider me a man of no honor, dude? Jesus. <laughs> the only thing you have is honor. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of Call of Duty Warzone dubs. Ah, uh, true, dude, true. Big facts, baby. Me and you. Hell yeah. Unstoppable duo. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's good times. Well, seeing as we don't have any Wakashonians to help us out here, anybody else want to <laughs> put in their two cents on this game? Wish I could play it. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> Be pretty cool if it, I don't know, functioned. <laughs> I know I have some objecti or objectives? Achievements I need to get for Medic still, so. Mm. I would love to play it. Maybe we should talk to Sixes and Sevens, see if we could just rent out a session and play all the games we never play. Does he own his own eye combat like, location he now? Owns yeah, yeah he, he oh you haven't been around for a while yeah he owns waukesha now <laughs> what yeah, yeah. <laughs> sixes and sevens had a good old icon that come up yeah dude 
I might as well just hit him up, dude. He can be my freaking dad, bro. He wants to buy me the eye combat down here. <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, no pretty wild. All right, I can't help it. I'm gonna put myself in the in the demon zone. I have to play with it. Doing the demon. Oh my god! What is wrong with me? The wall. <laughs> okay, oh somebody's opening a portal. Aisle. <laughs> That's Pressing the button on the LED bar. Aren't we? Yeah, I bought some LED <laughs> lights. Oh. All right. Thank you. I'm uh I'm disappearing. See all right, you. Powers. Take care, buddy. Bye Thanks bye. for all your donations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We appreciate it. All right. Well, that is probably about it for Medic. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. It's a pretty simple game. I mean, honestly, if you want to just open it up and make this like just a normal chatting session. <laughs> no. uh, I'm in. Yeah, just <laughs> chatting. Just gotta make chat. me stay up way past my bedtime. All right, well, let's yeah. do this then. Let's go to the chat. Chat, give us something to talk about. I mean, we've got like twenty more minutes. Yeah, we got twenty minutes of chat still. So let's let's go yeah. to the chat. What what does the stream want us to talk about? We have a wide breadth of knowledge and experience here. We have bandwidth. To you. <laughs> All right, wake me up when they uh. Wake me up when, when they give September me a topic. Ends? Is it September already? Yeah. No. Oh, Fabian, you just saw that, didn't you? Yeah. All right, Fabian. I guess Sean was the first one. So, Fabian, how how do the frogs make you feel, sir? Oh no, what's happening? Wow. This is developed already. I think it's. I think it's some type of conspiracy. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> It all started off with these chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up, guys. It's very serious. Hold I, on. Uh, Hold on. You talk for a second. I'll be right back. Oh my I'm, god. I'm, I'm going to the Google. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable, dude. But five most right. disturbing and ridiculously they're turning the frogs gay. You've actually oh, <laughs> You haven't heard this yet? Oh. Turn male frogs into females. What is going on? Interesting. Interesting. This is research I could get behind. Frogs have all reproductive. Of course it is. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who this yeah. person is. Alex. Says tap water is turning humans and frogs. Yeah. yeah. Vietnam tested by the No other animals, just frogs. What's the contingency there? What's the, what's the similarity between frogs and humans that only they are being affected by this? I mean, what uh, what else do you need, Nat? Listen, the evidence is right in front of you, all right? Listen. I need answers, Bob. I need <laughs> answers. The man led it. There he is, dude. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, do the tinfoil hat. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, guys. I'm so proud. Oh, this so you see what happened is not, not they put the chemicals in the water. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> Welcome to Conspiracy <laughs> Hour. I'm on Logan Paul's channel about it, and I almost just watched it. You're real serious, and you're about to talk about conspiracies. Oh, man. I can't wait to see what's about to happen. Even no, oh, I'm not watching this. I can't do it. I don't have the brain cells. Are you watching? Yeah, it, you're gonna lose a lot of them. You're not, you're not in it for the future, Nat. This is. No, I'm not ready for the future. <laughs> I'll never be ready. <laughs> I have a question for everyone while everyone's looking up the the gay frogs. So, uh, how is everyone's sleep schedule? Fuck. I'm literally, I've literally just almost fixed my knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> I see, I see. Wow. Um, we got the I now fall asleep at 7 a.m. and wake up at 5 p.m. Oh, <laughs> so no. 
So this whole night, I'm going to just be packed in my room ready for tomorrow's moving. So. Oh, yeah. Let me try <laughs> right in here. You got a black <laughs> You guys want to get serious about conspiracy theories? This is where it's at. We have the tinfoil man. Yeah. Oh. I don't honestly, think there are some conspiracy honestly, theories, though, that I'd be into. Like, the Titanic conspiracy theory about, like, insurance fraud. Like, I'm all up in that shit. <laughs> There's, well, the Titanic apparently had an issue with, it had engine failure. That's why it actually went down. That's well, fine. they were okay, but have you seen? Have you heard the conspiracy theory about how there was like a sister ship to the Titanic? Yeah. I can't remember the name of it right now, but like this, there was this whole thing about like they crashed the Titanic on purpose because they needed money because they couldn't finish the other ship's project and like yada yada yada. So like like they sacrificed all those lives, whatever. It was like a big deal, like like when people heard about the insurance behind both companies ships Wait, and whatever. Is this back yeah. when insurance companies actually paid for insurance claims? Good, good point. <laughs> no, Damn globalist. Like, oh, that's not the right word. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. Oh, like it, it's an interesting conspiracy theory. Uh, I mean, there. I mean, like it's kind of similar to the 9/11 conspiracy, where they're like they took out the insurance Wait. policy beforehand, and yeah, there was enough room. For both of them. There was. There, an, there was. There literally was. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually fun because I don't actually prescribe to most uh most conspiracy theories, so I'm trying to think about like what other ones that I know that are like super random. Mm. Mm. I can bring up one, but I'm not going to. Nope. I'm not bringing in anything that I'm into. I mean, the most recent one that I was like listening to was the whole Pizzagate scandal. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that I've like recently come into. And I was just like, holy shit, dude. These people are getting in depth. We're like, Oh, hold on, wait, I know this one, it's really stupid, but, like, it's funny. So, like, it's, it's not even really, like, a conspiracy theory, it's more just, like, this is probably happening, but we're gonna call it a conspiracy theory to make ourselves more comfortable with it. Oh, jeez. Like, it's the, the one about Chuck E. Cheese, like, reusing their pizza slices. Oh. So, like, <laughs> like, like pizzas that, like, aren't finished. <laughs> no, that's, that's a wholesome conspiracy theory. It's so good. Literally. Like I watched this whole it was like a fifteen minute like docu series on like like um why the evidence of like because the pizza slices never fit together properly <laughs> proves that it's true. <laughs> oh my god, dude. They just so is it not it. possible someone could just be terrible at slicing these things? Like I, I guess yeah, but like some of the some of the pictures are really jacked up. It's like that's not a full pizza. Yeah. Okay. okay. I've, I've seen some of those too, where they say that the uh, the people that worked at uh, Chuck E. Cheese never ask you if you want to take the pizza home. They just take the pizza right to the back. Scumbags, yeah. dude. Be. No, I'm saying. It's, uh, it's like, or uh, someone just brought something up in chat. Very good point, dude. Birds work for the Borgia. True, dude. Let me ask you something, guys. You ever seen a baby pigeon? Oh shit, dude. That's yeah. so yes. good. Yes, I have. Oh, my. Bird, you're a liar, dude. He's a part. Of, he's Wait, a part hold of, on. I actually. Welcome to Michigan. We have them. I don't understand this one. Explain that, Fabian. You don't know this. Birds are not real. Oh god. No, 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 it's birds. not. It's not Fabs. Don't don't generalize. It's not birds. It's pigeons. Pigeons, excuse me. Yes. It's it's pigeons. The pigeons oh, are are actually they're mechanical like government AI things. agents. They're like yeah, they're government AI that, that spy on people. <laughs> are you serious? Other than if you want to go one deeper, the coronavirus is just to change the batteries. The bourgeoisie. That's like a thing. Oh my it's god. Really. But like it is, it's like a conspiracy theory that has like foundation. Like, I need more tin foil. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god! I just like for two seconds. I just like googled like it's like top twenty conspiracy theories, and then like I clicked the Wikipedia link for like conspiracy theories, and these are like actual ones, and I'm like a little uncomfortable. Sure, give us number four. Number four of which category? Oh, Jesus. There's categories? <laughs> There's aviation, business, and industry. 
economics and society, espionage, ethnicity, race, and religion. Ooh, uh, go with that government, one. Government, politics, and conflict, medicine, science, and technology, uh, sports, and there's some other ones, but those are like the top things. Uh, let's go with sports, them. sports, sports, yeah. sports. <laughs> okay, all right, damn. Okay, um. Uh, no, no, number okay. four. Uh, number one through six, pick something. Four. Oh four. god, dude, please do six. Six says New England Patriots. Sure, go for it. Oh, wow. this is a play football thing, I bet. <laughs> of course it is. Is that a conspiracy theory, though? Like, what is it? Okay. The New widely England assumed. Patriots have also been involved in numerous conspiracy theories. During their AFC Championship 24-20 victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars, several conspiracy theories <laughs> spread, dating that the referees helped the Patriots advance to the... Oh, this is boring. Next, <laughs> Ooh, how about this one? There are like this three is, things it could be. <clears throat> Here, this is this is Nick is in the chat. Nick says high dollar art auctions are just public money laundering. Wow, dude! Uh, Actually, that's really a conspiracy that's... theory though. <laughs> Pretty deep, dude. That is really deep. <laughs> is that, <laughs> that a conspiracy theory though? Like, can we just unpack that, please? It's that. <laughs> is it a theory or is it just happening? That's when fair. was the last time an art dealer came to Detroit instead of the mob? Chris, honestly, <laughs> honestly this is what I'm gonna say. From like every once, once every week, you should have this session. Just <laughs> random people, whoever you want to have on, and just call it "Not So TED Talks." <laughs> <laughs> Not so TED Talks. Like, like, like lame because they're real. <laughs> There's so many though. Like, which one are you gonna choose from? It's a, you'll never run out of content, Chris. What's this? That's one? true. About, oh, wait, let's let's see. It could go a while. Flat Earth is real, dude. There's I feel I feel like I'd be stepping on Destiny's toes though with my like 15 viewers. <laughs> Who the fuck is Destiny? You don't know Destiny? Oh, uh, no. he, dude. He's a uh, rabbit hole. Yeah, <laughs> that's a giant fucking rabbit hole. He's a he's a professional gamer. Starcraft player that kind of transitioned from gaming into just general politics talk. And well, this is politics. we're conspiracy. Well, no, no, no. But he like he'll get into it and like do like up up in front debates with like right wingers and conspiracy theorists and shit and try and figure out who's bullshitting who. All right, you know what, dude? Listen, next week, spread the news. We're getting Alex Jones in here, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Making it big, dude. Okay. <laughs> I feel um, like we're asking a lot here. Yeah, we are. I mean, he doesn't have an outlet, so we're probably the biggest platform he's going to get now. <laughs> That's valid. I'm sifting through Wikipedia's list of how, interesting... How, how do we all feel about the uh, the 5G conspiracy? Oh, oh my goodness! I've seen that popping up so much on Facebook now. What is now. it? What, what is this? The, what five, is the 5G conspiracy is that the 5G towers are being put up to promote infection and, like... Like uh, general ill being inside of people, pri no primarily problem. in the African and Black communities, because that's where they're popping up now, and people are saying, "Oh, I'm getting sick." Blah blah blah. Right. Here, here are the facts. All right, I'm gonna give you the facts. Oh, here we go. Five G towers take. It's roughly about. It, it covers a range of about 300 feet. Right. Yeah. So they, they're, post, they're posting them up everywhere. Like, yeah, it's right? super short range. Yeah, exactly. So, so the only. Like plausible thing that I've heard thus far is a school in California where one of them was put up and five of the kids did get cancer that year. That is the only plausible one. And I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe that one has like some sort of. But these people claim that the coronavirus is caused by 5G power. I'm not saying burn them down, but <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, they've had 5G towers down. Go ahead. So, no, no, I wasn't going to say anything. Not on fire. Oh, I can't hear him. I can't hear him. Oh, it's a damn 5G tower. It's killing him. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> is it a conspiracy <laughs> chat? I don't know. Find out. Next time on. So I have an interesting one here. So they have 5G towers in downtown Chicago. I think we would have heard something. They've been there for like two years now. Exactly. They've been there for a freaking minute. 
if it was actually something real and something yeah. that was causing well, any yeah like you said people get like real shitty about it because they they're they're very powerful towers but like that's the thing is they're super powerful but they're like super short range because they have yeah. to be powerful otherwise you wouldn't get hundreds of gigabits per second and, and they're referring to these they're referring to these giant cell towers. Yeah, but those are 4G. They're not even the right ones. Exactly. And those, like, 4G towers cover about a seven mile radius. Right? Yeah. So, and they're, they're talking about how these people, like the, the poll workers, not the ones you're thinking of, by the way. Natalie. <laughs> the essential ones. I mean, granted, whoever you're talking to, it could be essential in both ways, but you get what I'm saying. Anyways. Uh, so they're talking about how they, they get radiation poisoning when they go up there and they wear protective gear because it's crazy and toxic. And it's like, dude, shut up. Like, no, they don't. If that was the case, you know how like crazy this country would have gone? Yeah. That's valid. Yep. All right, Bird, what'd you find? Hold on, I'm doing more reading. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so um, in the meantime, oh, yeah, never mind. No, no, go, go, go. So in the meantime, um, there is some basis to that. There are these jamming devices that they stick in the back of military Humvees, so you can't show up on radar. And some of them are so strong that if you stay in the vehicle long enough, um, you actually get sick. They have to do shifts in that Humvee. Really? Yeah. Okay. If you, uh, angry cops on YouTube did a video on it. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder though if that's not so much that the signal is so strong, or more or less that they're just shitting out pure microwaves from the truck. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much. That's pretty much what they're doing. Yeah. Chernobyl in a truck, pretty much. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Let's go. Chernobyl in a truck. Dude, that, that sounds like a delicious a food book. truck stand. <laughs> Come get your radioactive meals. <laughs> It comes equipped with a porta potty, so you can eat the food and just shit your brains out right away. <laughs> oh gosh! Fresh deer meat straight from Chernobyl. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sure there's, there's a conspiracy. Th yeah, I'm sure there's a conspiracy theory with them too. So. Okay, so I'm curious. Have you guys heard of this before? It's called false history. Some theories claim that the dates of historical events have been deliberately distorted. These include. Uh, these include the phantom time hypothesis of German conspiracy theory Herbert something, who in 1991 published an allegation that 297 years had been added to the calendar by establishment figures. What? How would that even happen without people saying something about it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, up until A the 1700s, theory... most of the population was pretty dumb. There. A comparable That's theory valid. known as the new chronology is most closely associated with Russian theorist Anatoly Fomenko. He huh. holds that history is many centuries shorter than is widely believed and that numerous historical documents have been fabricated and legitimate documents destroyed for political ends. Adherents of such ideas have included chess grandmaster Gary Gus. Kasparov? Yeah, I know him. Maybe? He's, <laughs> he dabbles in conspiracy theory. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. He, he, yeah, he was a world champion in the 90s. It says an example of one of these things that like people believe could have been true um, or like something that somebody might have wanted to do this for was like by adding the extra 297 years. <laughs> um, peop somebody... Like, are they just trying to rip off banks on interest or something? No, it says um, establishment figures such as Pope Sylvester II in order to position themselves at the millennium. Oh, okay. That kind of makes sense. I guess. Yeah. Uh, or a ruler saying he lived much longer than he actually did or something like sure, that. Sure, yeah, 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 I could see that. Sorry, I just thought it was interesting. All right, carry on. <laughs> I mean, that's probably one of the more realistic conspiracies that could actually be pulled off. What is this? Oh, go on. I don't know if I should read this one. You can't start right. like that. I read the Bring first it. line and all I heard in my head was, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this one is under the racism category. 
All right, share with the class. Oh gosh. White genocide conspiracy theory is a white oh, notion that immigration, integration, low fertility rates, and abortion are being promoted in predominantly white countries in order to turn white people into a minority or cause their extinction. 2017 study in France by IFOP, for example, found that 48% of participants believed without evidence that political and media elites are conspiring to replace white people with immigrants. Okay, I actually know some people who believe that. Oh. You know what? I feel like I shouldn't yeah. like, pass judgment just because like some people who are listening might. No, there's that that's I don't know a lot about that, but I do know from the people that I've spoken to that they strongly believe that it's it's basically like a religious based conspiracy that um certain religions of the world are told to like reproduce and reproduce and reproduce and reproduce etc cetera, etc cetera, like as much as you can while others are being told and like like you said in in developed whiter nations are saying oh you know go easy on the kids blah 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 yada yada you maybe shouldn't have so many and they they strongly believe that yeah they're that particular sect of people are trying to take over and it's idiotic. Yeah. It's like, it's like weird. It's weird because like, like, don't get me wrong. I don't want to sound like super biased, but also under this category in racism for conspiracy theories, the first one is, says white genocide conspiracy theory. And then the second one says black genocide conspiracy theory. Oh and no. It says, it's it kind of. Genocide is believed to have been instituted by white Americans through lynchings and racial discriminations. Believed? No, no, that happened. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that really happened. This has been happening for thousands of years. I really just love the language of believed. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we're opting in. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Okay, that's about enough. All right, I had enough. I think I think the hat's coming off here. <laughs> I think we're about done here. <laughs> Until next time, this has been a mostly TED Talk. <laughs> the greatest show Some TED Talk. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was fun. Hey, we're about to hit our hour mark. Good. Almighty. Well, some trash content. Yeah, this has been this has been a show. However, we've managed to hold between ten and fifteen people the entire show, so we must be doing something right. Denver Airport was funded by neo Nazis. That's going into my Google search history. Right uh, okay, now. that's a thing. All right, we'll do one more. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's typing it up. I mean, there's a big one we missed. Epstein didn't kill himself. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I saw it on the list in Wikipedia, but I was like, if somebody doesn't bring it up. It had to happen. That's that's accurate, I though. Epstein 100% didn't kill himself. What are the odds of an individual being monitored 24-7 <laughs> and all of a sudden, oh, well, you know, the camera shut off all this crap. I, I mean, it's just Whoops. not plausible. And, like, there's no trace of how he made his money or anything like that. No one knows. Like, okay. Like, what, what, what do you mean? You guys don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... my God. Wait, this is actually a really good one. <laughs> the first line of this, um, like, wiki, because it's not actually Wikipedia, for this is uh, Denver, Denver International Airport has a occurred a collection of conspiracy theories. These theories most commonly claim that the DIA is a new secret headquarter or compound used by the Illuminati New World Order, near Nazis, or reptoids. Wait, time out. Reptilian, of time course. Out. Time out. We can put back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going. These claims are usually based on an alleged swastika shape that the runway and taxiways make when seen from the air, as well as mural sculptures and other engravings claimed to be secret code or alien language. Yep. Hold I on. This is wild. We're delving real deep into that, then. <laughs> <laughs> The particular layout doesn't allow for 
this it's is really all logical shit. Right. It makes sense. The of course, if you have been primed to see sinister patterns in everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to drag this over. I don't know if this is going to show on stream, but Oh man. All right. You can kind of see I mean, it. I see it. You can kind of see, oh, it. I see it. You got I see the it. runways, yeah, the terminal, you got right. more over here. And then it it looks like a kid way. in middle school trying to draw one in the bathroom wall. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, kind of a stretch. Like, that one's kind of a stretch. That's a hell of a stretch, but I mean, <laughs> at least they have other kids. <laughs> <laughs> With the reptilians, though? I can get behind that, dude. The reptilians are taking over. Well, I mean, Hillary South Clinton. Park covered it, so it has to be true. What is this? Like it's only true if The Simpsons covers it. True. Ooh, how about another conspiracy theory that Matt Groening is a time traveler? <laughs> Actually, that one might be true. <laughs> Have you not heard of that one, Fobbs? No. Yeah, there's there's a theory that the creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening, is a is a time traveler because many, many, like almost too many of the jokes that they make in the show eventually have come true that's kind of wild yeah like in way ahead of time like years before shit happens oh my god like i really the... wish i would have stopped reading about this airport <laughs> <laughs> oh it got more disturbing it's getting way worse okay oh fun there yeah. are multiple theories as to why these bunkers exist including so this is they're talking about the fact that the 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 airport in like in a in its entirety, is built to conceal, like, massive top-secret underground bu bunkers. Okay. So, these bunkers exist for being a home to aliens that the space will use as a FEMA concentration camp <laughs> in the future when the U.S. government <laughs> will kill its own citizens, and that the space is intended to be a fallout shelter for the wealthy and famous should the Earth face some sort of apocalyptic disaster? I can get behind it. It's true. I can get behind Isn't the point of a Fallout Center, though, to not be found? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. It's a but, what, okay. what, but what better place to hide than in plain sight? Yeah, that's true. Debatable! Like, if you walk through a place and you're like, man, this would make a good bunker. <laughs> God. It's it probably the bunker. <laughs> this is also the airport with that creepy horse statue that's like huge. What a crazy horse statue. Alright, Natalie, it's I'm gonna 30... need you to put the you're gonna have to put the internet down, okay? I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. 32 foot tall, very anatomically correct sculpture of a blue horse. Jesus. Well, don't put that on stream. <laughs> It has glowing red eyes. Okay, I'm done. I got it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my gosh. Gosh. Wow, we hit the deep. The locals know him as Blucifer. <laughs> cool, cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're we're doing this again. All right. All right, I'm taking the hat off for good this time. Okay. Nat Natalie, back away from the internet. Yeah. I'm done. All right, <laughs> it's over. All right Mr. Mandrill, Mr. Mr. Fabian, thank you so much for coming on and entertaining yeah. us tonight. You guys, you guys got a minute each to to talk about whatever you want before I kick you out. I just want to say that uh, I had a really good time. I love you guys. You guys are great. And, uh, Thanks Twitch for coming by. Forward slash Scooby Dooby. Twitch.tv slash forward slash Scooby Dooby. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> follow Fobs on Twitch. Yeah, follow him on Twitch. We play uh, we play Warzone a bunch. We got like five wins together now. Yeah. Uh, in duos. The squad. It's, it's all pretty it lit. All right. Hey, do you know what Italy's shaped as? A boot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Been fun. See ya. <laughs> all right, man. Drill. It's your turn. What do you got to say? Nope. Oh, he guys. just peaced. Okay. He's just <laughs> out. He's <laughs> out. <fun>. He's out. <laughs> all right. Back to our normal overlay. <laughs> all right. Well, of all the episodes we've done, this is one of them. 
At this <laughs> yeah, it's something. It's something. This is this number ten, sure by the way. One. Big number ten we've done. Ooh, Yay! tenth episode, double digit. Podcast. A perfect ten. Ten. A ten, ten. from the Russian judge. <laughs> ten. ten. By the way, WWE laid off like tons of their staff today. No. Yeah, they got rid of like tw- I think like fifteen or so performers and like ten training staff because of oh that's awful because of lockdowns and whatnot. Yeah, it's rough. Whatever, they make a lot more w- money. So WWE with no audience is pretty funny. Yeah, and the XFL <laughs> got yeah, it is. It's not good. <laughs> XFL not good. got sacked. Yeah, the <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. Hey, that was a great pun. That was good. I liked it. Give me a white light. <laughs> there we go. All right. That is going to be it for our show this week. You look purple, bro. You look like you're dying. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm probably... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. We're leaving. Yeah, I'm too close to the light. Um, I flew too close to the sun. Icarus, what you Not doing? the XFL! <laughs> All right. Christian, you got to go pack, so you get to sign off first. What do you got to say? What do you got coming up, sir? All I got to say is that I'm. Uh, it'll be hard for me to put up a YouTube video tomorrow, but I'm going to try my best to do it before the move is official. So there's that. Other than that, uh, I might show. I might also show a video of the new place. Yeah. It's going to be house really tour. cool. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, house tour. All right, other than that, I got nothing. All right, get your internet set up so we can, uh, we can talk next week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotcha. Sweet. Bird, what do you got? I'll be doing a lot of homework and co- probably oh. just cooking. Oh, and playing Dead by Daylight. Because that's my new obsession. Let's go. Dead, Dead by I'll Daylight's do. fun. <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Don't let Brad. Christian, snap. do you play? Do you, do you play on, on PS4? On PS4. Ah. Ah, okay. If it was cross platform, I'd join you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's only inadvertent cross platform. You can't purposely do it. Stupid. Inadvertent cross platform. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> so, yeah, so th- you can get paired against people cross platform, but you can't party up cross platform. Ah, darn it. <laughs> well, I am also playing Dead by Daylight. Um, I'm probably going to be streaming this weekend. If somebody plays Dead by Daylight on PC, like, let us know. Yeah. Hop in. We're trying any... to do Survive with Friends, like, all four. So. Yeah, any, any, anybody that plays Dead by Daylight, we will absolutely play with you. In the worst way possible. Hey, words. Words. No, words, which... honey. <laughs> words have meaning. Yes, I know. No. <laughs> uh, I said what I mean, and I mean what I said. Yeah. And oh, an elephant see? faithful, 100%. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> That's going to be it for this week. We hit the hour mark. Thank you, hosts. I always have a great time with you guys. We got 10 in the bag. Let's go for another 10, yeah? All right. Everybody out in the chat, we love you. Uh, Hang out here. Hang out in the Discord. We're always playing games together. Um, Next week, we'll just wing it again. We'll just, we'll do a little, 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 little little something, something. Mm, Yeah. A little bit of this. A little bit bit of that. A little bit of magic. (laughs) We'll do some not so TED Talks. I like that segment, by the way. Maybe we'll do that more often. A little bit of flippy flip. Oh, next week's game mode. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say what's next week's game. I don't know. Uh, let's check. Choke that alphabetization, baby. <laughs> so let's see, medic. What's what's a game that starts with M? Medic. Moonlander. Nope. Um. Uh, I'm assuming it will be military movie. intel. Oh yeah, probably military intel. Oh, I like that. That's actually a fun game to talk about. It's a really quick game, but there's a lot you could do in there. Yeah, uh, like yeah, can't military buy the bag. intel's next week, so that'll be a that'll be a fun talk. Hey. Let's talk about them backpacks. Yeah, backpack, back tech, backpack, back of, backpack, back a pack of games. Backpack, backpack. All right. <laughs> Just a little Dora Explorer. All right. Well, we didn't talk about it much this week, but please stay healthy. Hopefully, we only got a couple more weeks to go before we can start to get back to real life. Keep um, yourself nice and, I don't know, hydrated. Hydration is good. That wasn't a fully, 
It wasn't a fully formed sap. Oh, that's out good. Right. Hydration is good. You want to keep yourself fed, hydrated. Sanitize you yourself. Sanitize. Drink water. Keep yourself away from people you don't know. And people you do know, to be quite honest, because you can't trust none of these bitches out here. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to... I'm going to... Oh. I gotta, I gotta say the gear swap thing again, don't I? Yeah. Of course. Of course. All Thanks, right. Fern. I did that. <laughs> All right, everybody. It is 10:40 on a Wednesday night. Typically, if you'd be playing a game right now, your gear probably ran out of batteries, and you'd run over to that ice and you'd be like, "Hey, my gear's not working." They look at you, and be like, "Hey, we're gonna give you a gear swap." So. Yeah. <laughs> get your gear swapped. We'll see you guys next week. We love you. Here's your outer music, and we'll see you in seven days. Bye bye. The spirits are like when a house possessed. They never existed in physical form. They only exist in spirit form. It's truly demons. demons.